What's up guys, welcome back to another MCOC Alliance War and uploading this video about a week late. I just took a week off of editing and uploading videos so getting back to it. Um, of course most of my videos, or almost all of my videos are Alliance War these days so let's hop into it. First up we have a skill node and it is crossbones um, kind of don't like fighting crossbones just because I don't know when he's going to shrug off that debuff and he does shrug it off very quickly as opposed to facing off against Agent Venom where it's about a half a second before he shrugs it off so it gives you a little bit more of an opening if you want to try to get the uh, attack in before he shrugs it off but um, yeah cutting it a little close there he did have two bars of power when I fired this special off so if it didn't if I didn't uh, end the fight there then there was a possibility that I would have pushed into a third bar special or third bar power um, but luckily I didn't um, up next we have another skill node and it is a five star skill waken and turns out to be hawkeye one thing about these wars lately since it is based on diversity kind of hard to predict which champs you're going to be facing off against so definitely was not expecting hawkeye but when facing hawkeye i try to bait out the first special instead of the second one just because it's a little bit easier to evade um, the timing of the arrows you know because he does one attack for the first special before fighting firing the arrow and then the second one is like two or three I, I can't remember I don't actually use his second special too much so up next another skill and this one happens to be Electra I believe I brought in Iron Man for this fight uh, just because of the armor up but I could also did Hyperion. I actually would have got to my second special a lot faster and would have been able to break that armor a lot faster. So in hindsight, um, wouldn't uh, probably would have been a bit easier to bring in Hyperion instead of Iron Man. But I do like Iron Man's armor break, so I think I'm going to keep using him in war. It's been uh, a lot of fun using him. Up next we have a science, of course, and I've actually been facing Quake on this node a lot, and that is who I'm facing again this time. Not sure why people have been putting her on this node. It is a bleed immune, but uh, just don't know why I've been seeing Quake majority of the time versus you know some other champ, but. One thing I did in my last fight was I tried to beat the timer and get a little bit more damage in before the stun wore off. Uh, last time I fought her and I took some additional damage blocking her second special so keeping that in mind I backed away before the stun timer wore off so didn't take that extra damage. Uh, up next we have a tech and it's, and it's uh, Ultron. Uh, gotta be a little bit careful with these heavy attacks fighting Ultron just because how long Hyperion's heavy attack is and there is the possibility that Ultron will evade. Got lucky there, I forgot about the strike back on this node and I almost pushed him to three bars of power, was just short of that. Even if another tap, if I would have hit him while he was blocking or anything like that, it would have pushed him to a third bar of power so I got very lucky there but gonna finish this fight off here uh, I guess I do a third special oh no now I got power drained forgot about that so do my first special and end the fight so let's see up next uh, okay so this is the bleed node so I have to use Iron Man. So pretty much I, I try to save 
not Iron Man, Ice Man. I'm trying to save Ice Man for this fight. Don't like to use him in any of the other fights. Uh, you see, tried to swipe there, but he ended up doing a light attack. But uh, happens a lot. Uh, something else that that has ha been happening a lot lately is you're gonna see it in this fight. Um, when it when the AI dashes in, uh, like if you dash back as soon as they start dashing in, there's a possibility that you won't evade their attack. So. Uh, I'm not sure where it happens in this fight, but I do know that it does happen. Uh, Rhino starts his charge, and when he starts his charge, I dash back, uh, thinking maybe I was... Okay, there it is. <laughs> so, you may think that I dash back a little bit early, and I watched that part in very slow motion, and he actually started his charge first. I then dash back and um, yeah I got hit so it's been happening a lot lately it's very annoying um, something that sh Kabam should fix but who knows when that will ever if that will ever happen but aside from that I didn't take too much more additional damage and able to finish the fight off up next, I waited to see if my teammate was going to need any help. I can't remember. I guess that was a Spider-Man up there. OG Spider-Man, so I waited to see if he needed any help with that, but they took that down, so I came down to this Spider-Man, and I always forget that this has Kinetic Reactor. Um, I always think that this node is just like the middle node of the last Alliance War setup where it just it was basically the Mystic Ward which to be honest didn't really matter and it was that 20 second um, uh, power drain timer so I do start getting messed up right here um, just because he gets he gains one bar of power each time he does his first special so you see there I tried after the second time I tried to evade it but I was too close didn't work out so I bring in Iceman and the plan is to try to push him to the second special if possible as you can see I didn't there but since I do have that cold snap on him I am able to attack him while he has the evade buff um, but I do have to worry about that timer so I, I fired off my first special before the timer wore off the power drain timer so the cold snap is going to run out before I'm able to reapply it so I have to get a parry and then fire off the first special to, so that he doesn't evade it I was able to do that and I think it runs off again before the fight and yes but I was able to take him down shortly after it ended so I didn't have to worry about that up next we have the final boss which is a magic so yes of course the big thing about this will be the um, uh, what is it the limbo and limbo damage against a boss is about 665 per tick which is so annoying I'm gonna be so much higher once she's a rank 5 so can't wait but uh, I actually I definitely obviously don't have any hopes of taking her down just wanted to chip off a few a little bit of health with Iceman um, and not sure what, what happened there. Not sure what I was doing. Uh, oh, oh, I remember. <laughs> yes, that was a very, very bad attempt at a intercept. I was very, very slow with it. But, oh well. Um, I brought in Iron Man, of course. That was the last champ that I had with health on it. Uh, this was obviously the 
champ that I was hoping to do the most damage with. And plan is, as always, with magic, um, bait out the first special. Just sucks that sh that you can't stun her because um, whenever I fight Iron Man or fight magic using iron man that's what i try to do is get a stun right before she gains the bar power just to reduce the chance that she will trigger limbo but uh yes can't do that in this fight and going to pause it here just to go ahead and time out just because i know that i'm about to die here pretty soon so to reserve um a revive in case I need it to come back in to finish her off. I just went ahead and let the fight time out. Uh, but I didn't need to come back in. Teammates finished her off. And the war is over. So go over here to see that we won. So you beat the Hateful Eight and beat them in pretty much every category. Uh, Defenders Place, ex Exploration. Uh, we did tie in, in boss kills. Uh, had more diversity. Obviously they had more attacker kills because they didn't place as many champions. Uh, they had one less participant. But they did have three more Defender kills. Not that that matters. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for this war. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.